Hey yo, what's up my friends, it's Patrick here and welcome to this video here. Today I want to talk about the FIFA 14 foot legend ratings. Yeah, as you may know we got 42 players in uh, FIFA 14 which will be legend cards and yeah, the first 22 have been released now and we can have a look at the ratings. In the background you can see an overview about all players involved and I want to talk about the first 22 players which are released now. As you may know um, I'm going for the Xbox One uh, because I was too late with ordering a PS4 and uh, this is also the reason I'm able to uh, use uh, these legend cards. Um, they will be very expensive I guess but maybe we can find a way to get some. And uh, this is also the reason I thought it would be a great idea to do a little video about it because maybe some of you haven't seen the ratings yet and so on and are interested in it. And yeah, so I would say let's start. The first one is Sol Campbell Central back here from England, 86 ratings, so we are beginning with uh, the lower ratings, uh, 78 pace and great defending attributes with 85, 89 in headers and uh, these are very 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 good attributes for a central back in my opinion, very fast and very good on headers and also very strong I guess. Wickfoot 3 stars, skill move 2 stars, nothing more to say, right for the player. Then we're carrying on with uh, a legend here, Sheringham, Teddy Sheringham, and uh, he's a striker, 78 pace, 84 shot, and uh, 84 heading. So not the fastest one, but uh, from the stats I can say that uh, yeah, he's the typical uh, penalty box striker. Um, give him the ball, and he will finish it in. The next player is Freddy Jungberg, or however you pronounce this guy. A true legend, uh, he's a central taking midfield player, has great attributes there. 85 in pace, 80 in passing, 83 dribbling and um, yeah, the rest uh, shot 78 is also very good. Um, he's more a dribbler when I see it right and uh, you can use his pace and his nice passes to get forward. The next one is a right back and this is Gary Neville, also played for Manchester United, 18 pace. Not the best attribute you can have on this position here, but uh, 84 in defense is also very good. Nice passes and his header attributes are also not the best ones for a defender, but uh, that's why he's an outside defender. Let's carry on with uh, Frank de Boer. Uh, yeah, 66 and pace as a central back. Um, not that good in my opinion, but uh, 87 in defense, uh, in defense and uh, 77 and headers. Also not the best, but left-footed player. Um, I don't think that this player here is the best one in this uh, list here, but uh, still a true legend. Next one is uh, Robbie Fowler and uh, he's a striker, 83 pace, you can see it, and uh, 83 in heading, 81 in uh, shooting and 83 in dribbling, so maybe an around, uh, around striker and uh, the case that he's left footed also brings in more variation in your attacking play. The next one is Stefan Effenberg, a German player, and he's a true all-rounder here. Central attacking midfield player is his uh, position. 74 in pace, which is maybe his weak point, but have a look at the other rati ratings. Uh, 80 in dribbling, 81 shooting, 83 passing, 79 defending for a central attacking midfield player, and 78 in heading. So true all-rounder and also 4-star weak foot attributes. Then we are coming to Filippo Inzaghi, he's a striker, 85 pace and uh, yeah the shot 74 is not that good for a striker and Filippo Inzaghi was known as uh, always being in an offside position but um, I think he's uh, yeah he's just fast and I don't know why he has uh, 87 overall rating when I see the attributes here but um, yeah still a legend Filippo Inzaghi, great player also played for uh, AC Milan. Then we got uh, Oliver Bierhoff uh, was the player um, who scored the golden goal, the first one ever to do it and uh, now this rule is out of football. But uh, have a look at his ratings here, not the fastest one as a striker 76 but um, yeah, a beast at headers 89, very good and 79 in shooting so he is maybe a good finisher, we will see. Next one is Paulo Futre. Uh, a left winger from Portugal, um, 84 pace, uh, 93 dribbling, so this is just amazing. Rick for 5 stars, uh, unfortunately no uh, 5 star skill moves, but uh, he seems to be a pimped Nani in my opinion. Um, I'm really looking forward to um, see how he's going to play. 
Next one is uh, Hernan Crespo. Yes, uh, Argentinian player striker, 87 in pace. The best striker we have so far, 87 pace, as I said, 79 in dribbling, 83 shooting and also good on headers with 84. Um, nice ratings, also 5-star weak foot and 4-star skill moves. So this is just amazing, uh, the best striker we have so far here in this list. And um, yeah, we will see how he will play. Next one is Paul Letta and he's a bit like Hernan Crespo, not that fast but better at shooting with 85, 84 rating is also good and um, yeah, similar to uh, Hernan Crespo, um, also a great striker but uh, his weak foot is uh, one star lower and skill moves also. The next is uh, Gianfranco Sola and uh, yeah, he's a central forward, 84 pace, uh, 90 dribbling and 85 passing. So he's made for this position, right footed player and um, yeah, nothing more to say about him. Then we're coming to uh, Christian Vieri. Um, he's a yeah, striker but uh, has 3 star weak foot uh, which is not that good in my opinion and also 3 star skill moves so um, he's maybe the one who can finish the ball in in the penalty box with 82 shooting and 88 headers so after crosses maybe and 83 paces also not bad but um, yeah I think there are better strikers in this legend list here. Then we are getting to a real legend, I think everybody knows him, it's Henrik Larsson, um, he's a striker also here, we have many strikers, uh, 84 pace, uh, 84 dribbling, 82 shooting, which are also very good for a striker, and 78 heading is maybe not that good, and he's also not the uh, tallest one, uh, 4 star weak foot and uh, 3 star skill moves. Then we are coming to Michael Owen, Mr. England striker himself, as I'm calling him. 89 pace was also was yeah he was always very fast and, um, and yeah have a look at his other um, uh, attributes here. 85 in dribbling also very good, but his header attributes are not that good for a striker. 81 shooting and this guy here is a, cl a clinical uh, finisher. Give him the ball in the penalty box and he will score. Nice one, nice player. I'm really looking forward to play with him. 88. Overall rating. The next legend in this list here is Robert Pires. Um, he's a right midfield player. We haven't had one in this list before. Um, look at his attributes 86 pace is very good on this position, 86 dribbling also, and 86 passing as well. So this means he's good at crossing, good at passing, can dribble, he can run, and this is really what you need on this right midfield position. I think he will be a good player here. Yes, next player is Andrei Chevchenko and uh, it's maybe one of the most loved football players ever in my opinion. Um, you can't hate this guy, 84 pace, uh, 87 in shooting, so he's he's just awesome in the penalty box. And uh, 84 dribbling is also very good, 79 headers as well. And 88 overall rating, so Andrei Chevchenko will be a great striker in my opinion. And uh, yeah, as I said, one of the most loved football players ever. Then we are coming to Rui Costa, um, he's a right footed player from Portugal here, 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves, he's a central attacking midfield player, 84 pace, uh, 86 dribbling, 82 shooting and 86 passing, so these attributes are so good on this position, um, he can shoot, he can dribble, he can pass and this is really what you need here and uh, that's why I also think that uh, Rui Costa will be a great addition in uh, FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. The next one is Patrick Kluivert and um, yeah, he's a striker as well, so we got so many strikers in this list here, 86 passing, 84 shooting, 82 dribbling and 87 in headers, so a uh, very complete striker here, good on headers and good on shooting and also very fast, um, he's a right footed player, has 4 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves. Then we are getting to a defensive player here, it's Frank Reichert here, he spitted on uh, yeah, the German player um, Rudi Völler in the past, um, he's a central back with a 70 pace, um, very average uh, attribute for a central back but uh, better than nothing, 78 on passing, 87 on defense and 82 on headers, so skill moves only 2 stars but uh, you don't need it in this position here. Um, he has a medium uh, work rate uh, as well on both uh, sides here. This is maybe interesting. Right footed player and 88 rating in overall. 
Now we are coming to the last player in this legend list here so far. It's Star Wars Shuker, or however this guy is pronounced, striker as well, 88 overall rating. And um, yeah, maybe also seems like an all-rounder here. He has 81 pace, 83 shooting, 79 passing, 86 tripping, 70 in defense. I don't know why he needs this, but uh, yeah, I don't care. And 83 on headers. Also 4 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves, he's a left footed player so it also brings in more variation as I told you before. And um, yeah, this list here is coming towards the end now and also this video here is coming towards the end. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you want me to do this video here for uh, the next legend cards which will be revealed. And uh, yeah, I can surely do it uh, to give you an overview and I hope you enjoyed this video here. You can leave your opinion in the comment box about uh, yeah the ratings uh, if you like them if they are deserved and um, yeah I'm looking forward to the next ratings uh, and maybe I can also show them to you so make sure to leave a like subscribe for more and share your opinion in the comment box thanks have a nice day I'm out peace